red kites are one of the success stories of conservation. After being hunted to near extinction in the UK, with only a few breeding pairs remaining in Wales by the early 20th century, the kites now have expansive populations in England and Scotland. The programme to save the red kites in the UK is one of the world's longest running protection programmes, and now an estimated 4,600 pairs breed here. Currently the species only breeds in Europe, but once upon a time its breeding range spanned into West Asia and Northwest Africa. The species is currently split into two subspecies. The nominate subspecies is most common, but a second subspecies is limited to the Cape Verde Islands off the west coast of Africa. Despite being heavily persecuted, at one point in history the birds were protected as they were useful for rubbish management as they scavenged for scraps. There have been reported incidents of red kites injuring children as they attempt to steal from lunchboxes, and taking chickens from coops and songbirds from hedges. Whilst some of this behaviour, such as the disruption of picnics, is possible and likely due to people feeding them in gardens, making their behaviour bolder in a similar way to gulls at the beach. But this effect has been reported for centuries, with William Turner writing in 1555 that the kites of England were greedier than those elsewhere, snatching bread from children and fish from women. But the kites are half the size of chickens, and a red kite is only capable of carrying off chicks and rabbit kits, at largest maybe a rat, and the stories of them attacking songbirds and lambs are not a physically possible feat for these birds. It is likely that kites swooping down on lambs is due to the birds being attracted by the lamb's tail, which have fallen off after being rubber banded by farmers, especially as these birds feed mainly on carrion. Red kites will nest in broad-leaved woodland. These are often untidy structures, often incorporating shiny and colourful objects, such as plastic, toys and even knickers stolen from washing lines. These pairs will bond for life, after first breeding at two years old. The pair will then return to the same nest every year, adding new material during each breeding season. Whilst the female stays with the eggs, the male will search for food. The chicks will stay in the nest until they fledge at around 60 days old, but will then be fed by their parents for a further three weeks.